Go on, mate. Oh, oh my god, oh my god! Oh Jesus Christ! So walking is back. I'm here in Heaton Park in beautiful, slightly overcast Manchester for one of the most requested walks from the people of the internet. I'm here with the fantastic Max Smith. Hello there. How uh, are you, sir? Yeah, not bad. How are you? Yeah, very well. Thank you for coming walking with me. Hey, anytime. You know very me, popular you are. A lot of people requested you. Really? Yeah, you seem surprised. I am surprised, yeah. I know. Uh, I'd assume it would be Stephen more than the, uh, the fat side. Surprisingly not. Oh, nice. Yeah. Maybe they think I need a walk. <laughs> Which, to be fair, right now I am so sort of struggling to breathe. But uh, yeah, I'm excited. Excellent. You know, to see where the park takes us. Yeah, let's crack on. <laughs> I've never been here without some big event going on. Um, so I don't even know what to expect during the day. There's an obelisk up ahead. Is there? Oh yeah. <laughs> See what I did? Like I pretended I didn't good, know. Good acting. Oh, great acting. <laughs> I'm getting a strong like Wicker Man vibes from this. It is excellent. Yeah. Just hang out by it for a bit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, if I was here a few years ago, you would have got the blood of a virgin on it. Uh, but luckily things have changed. <laughs> Uh, Congratulations. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's what we're here to celebrate. <laughs> it's religious. Something poopy, isn't it? Yeah. I don't think I like virgins. You're religious, Max? No. Uh, went to a Catholic school. Um, I've eaten the communion bread, but I was never taste. baptized. Dry. Was it? Yeah. Not nice. Uh, you can see why they have the wine afterwards, just to sort of quench. Uh, the first of it. So Max, I've done a few of these walks and it's the first yeah. time I've ha had to kick glass off of the place you were going to sit, <laughs> broken glass. Welcome to Manchester, you know, it's a dangerous it place. How long have you lived here? Uh, in this park. <laughs> yeah. uh, many a year. That's uh, a good thing about homeless <laughs> you can just choose to so fix it up. That is true, yeah. Constantly moving. <laughs> How long have you lived in, in MCR, uh, as I believe it's known? 2013. So when I, uh, what's it, it's planted my roots, is that a saying? Yeah. Yeah, we'll go with that. Planted my roots here. Um, came up for uni, good stuff. Earned an education, decided to stay, got a job. It's a good city, isn't it? Met a woman. Oh, classic story. Yeah. God. I went and on died. the... <laughs> <laughs> I guess it's the ending to that yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, let's, let's don't spoil it. <laughs> um, I got the tram over here. Okay. I liked it a lot. What? Uh, which way did you sit? Did you sit face in the way you went? No, I. I sat. I sat on the side on the seat. Oh, on the side. Oh wow. Okay. Because I didn't want to go in a two seat. When there and could they, be when, someone. When there could be a couple that wanted to sit together. That's so so I thought the nicest thing to oh, do yeah, would be sit is, on yeah. that. Thank you. But I, I really enjoyed it. Got the green line. I like this colour code, it makes it easy, isn't it? I'm not going to lie to you. Oh, right, I, yeah, okay. I didn't really look at the map, but... Okay, yeah. you're just, you're a local, so you know. Yeah. <laughs> I like that trams have made a comeback, because there was a time when trams were really popular in the olden days. Oh, very popular. And then trams went away a bit, and then relatively recently, trams have made a resurgence. Yes, yeah. I just think that class is permanent. The thing is, I, uh, when I got your message about coming to Heaton Park, I went, okay, I'll get an Uber. Not really knowing how far away it was. The Uber was nine pounds. That was without the surge yeah. charge. Uh, so, what, that would be a 20 pound round trip. Here and back on a tram, four pound 30. Sort yourself out, Uber. Yeah, you've got a lot to learn from <laughs> trams. They combine like the best bits of bus travel, yep. being able to look out the window, see where you're going, yep. with the best bits of tube travel like not really getting stuck in traffic if you've got yeah, dedicated lines. Yeah, no, of course, yeah. Well, especially in Manchester, you've got, uh, you know, they've sort of carved out a path for these trams. Uh, they they care about their trams up here. Uh, where, whereabouts uh, are you, bet you, is it I'm Norwich? I'm in Norwich. Norwich, days, yeah. yeah. Uh, no trams. The tram, no trams. No trams. <laughs> but this is the second tram network of the weekend I've been on. Oh, wow. Yesterday, I went on the tram between Cleveleys and Blackpool. Okay. 
Exciting? Good in some ways. The problem is, I think it's it's not as functional a tram route as others. It felt it was more for people to sit on to look at the Blackpool illuminations. Oh. It just goes along the coast and back. There's not enough trams. No, there are a lot more trams. So. Do you see yourself maybe doing a, a channel based on your trips on trams? I don't think I'd be a separate tram channel, but I think it could be a series. <laughs> a reviewing, the, reviewing the tram networks. I'd, I'd say you go for it. You know. Country. Do you think it would work? Do you think uh, a market? There's uh, somebody I watch, not frequently, but uh, on and off. No one's judging. Uh, <laughs> and he, he, he talks about trains in London. What's his name? Jeff. I know what you mean. Oh really? Yeah. yeah, I've watched it. He's great. Oh yeah, yeah, he's good fun. Yeah. He always like when a new train line opens, he'll get on it yeah, first. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, gone, he's gone on everything, I think. But um, I'll find out his name and put a link below. But he's good. Yeah, he's good fun. But you know, there is there is an audience for that sort of stuff. Do you know what I started watching last year? I don't want I was, to hear about it. This okay, guy. I won't tell you about that. But I'll tell you <laughs> the other stuff I was watching last year. Okay. Because I was going to I was going skiing just before pandemic. I was going to skiing in. Telluride in Colorado and we're okay. going to be driving like through the Rockies to get to it and I found the YouTube's genre of RV driving so oh. basically people with massive RVs yeah. putting a little camera at the front and just <laughs> driving and they, they'd be like 20 minutes when they're driving through really beautiful mountains and then one of them they would like say something to his wife or something <laughs> Hey, really breaks the there. And you're like, oh, I forgot, forgot where we were. Really, I could, you're sleeping I'm, at the wheel, no? Yeah, I've genuinely watched hours of them. Just going. I, t I tell you one thing that's quite relaxing uh, is, so whenever me and my girlfriend are talking about places to visit and stuff, you can just watch people walking through the streets. But like there's people that sort of put a camera on their jacket or whatever they're wearing. Do you know? They just sort of, they just wander through the area. Um, do people ever notice the camera? Do you get people going like looking at... There's one, so we were watching one about, you know, there's a new Mario Land um, thing in Japan, I think. Right. I assume it's Japan. Um, yeah, somebody's walking around showing all the rides and stuff. And there are times when people are like, clock the camera, yeah. you know, some people hide in their face, which, yeah, fair enough. Um, <laughs> You know, not everyone's like us. No, so exactly. easy in front of the so camera. Nat so natural, oh God, yeah. natural entertainers. So true. <laughs> <laughs> I find I've watched a lot of, when I'm going somewhere, I'll watch all of the travel yeah. vlog yeah. content. Like I'm going to Morzine in France, okay. skiing in January. And it was supposed to be last January, it's been put back. So it's been okay. like a year and a half. Been oh, this. So I've watched literally, and there's been no <laughs> new travel vlogs made. <laughs> in the last year and a half anyway so I, like the standard of things that I watch I yeah. watch the most boring I, do, do you know it's, I think it's a it's an interesting thing about I guess YouTube as, as a whole yeah. which is whatever you want to find you'll be able to find it on yeah you know uh, travel vlogs about any any fucking sorry am I allowed to swear do you want to bleep it yeah, if I remember I might just forget <laughs> any, any place you want to go you'll be able to find somebody that's gone there. Yeah. It's given their opinion on the place, you know. Uh, yeah, it's quite, yeah, it's, miraculous in that way. It's got me into a new subgenre of female travel vloggers with disinterest or embarrassed boyfriends. <laughs> and they're going around going, hey, look at the hotel room, it's great. What do you think of this, Dave? And Dave's like, yeah, good. Like, like going, cause he doesn't want the, the blokes at yeah. football to take the piss out of him. But he also doesn't want yeah. to annoy his girlfriend because she's quite hard. Between a rock and a hard place. Yeah, yeah. it's 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 tough. It's my it's my favourite. It's my favourite. With uh, thing to watch. if you were to go on one of these, are you are you are you a married man? I am. Yeah. Uh, well done. Thanks. Congratulations. Um, do you, would you be the disinterested partner, or would your uh, wife or husband? Well, no. Well, I am. Well, I, um, I I think by the, the fact I do this, I'm, I'm probably the the enthusiastic the giddy, yeah, yeah. one my wife is tolerant if not <laughs> he's with his camera again yeah 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 oh boy she's she's given up on moaning about about <laughs> my schemes yeah no, fair, fair. what other sort of youtube stuff do you watch what are you into god i sorry i need to cough again <coughs> sorry it's all good uh oh it's a weird one I, I think for me i i i'm so out of the loop with a lot of the stuff that's popular in the UK, shall we say? Yeah. You know, I, I'm watching uh, Red Letter Media, for example. They um, they review films and stuff. Uh, a lot of reviews, yeah. games and stuff. Um, law videos. Law. Law is in store like backstory to stuff. 
So like, oh uh, right, L O R E. Yes, yeah. I thought, sorry, yeah. Like, no, I thought like, oh, today <laughs> we're discussing uh, we're discussing housing contracts. I'm not that academic. Yeah, I was just saying. Sadly. Wow, I was unexpected. Uh, God again. It's <clears throat> all right. Giving up smoking is just what it is. Yeah, do, do you know what? it's been? It's been about five months now. No, it hasn't, has it? God, has it? It's been five months. It's gone quick. That's scary. I've got an app. Have you? Which I'll show you. Well, uh, it tells you how long you've not smoked for. Yeah, smoke free. Great app if you're trying to quit smoking. Four months, four months two, two weeks, two weeks four, four days. days. Wow. What made you stop? Uh, fear of death. <laughs> yeah, that'll do it. <laughs> what made you start? Uh, fear of death. Uh, oh, God. So we're going to get deep. Well, yeah, why not? Deep if on the Robbie to. Knox channel. Uh, I... As deep as you want to go. Yeah, no. it. not, this isn't like some life story. <laughs> yeah. I'm not going to make you cry. My mother and my father. Yeah. Uh, I, got, I, I wanted to... Since I was a kid, I've had an issue with uh, eating. Right. I've had like eating, I don't want to say disorders, but just, you know, fucking filling my gob with shit. And then um, I, somebody, I went to a doctor's and there was somebody going on about smoking curbs there. Your, your sort of hunger. <laughs> the doctor told you No, not the doctor. Not right. the doctor. That wasn't a doctor, Max. <laughs> yeah. The doctor to something It was legal. a weird alleyway I went <laughs> into. Uh, <laughs> a lot of needles about, so I had to assume he was a doctor. Yeah. Um, but no, it's some, somebody outside was saying about smoking. So I was like, I'll have one. And then you have one and then it just fucking, just, it just have, you know, you have to buy a pack, yeah. you know, unless somebody gives you one. So I bought a pack and then more more for the curiosity because I had friends and family members who smoked around me. So it wasn't like I was, uh, uh, what's the word, new to the concept yeah. of smoking. Uh, I had had them before, but when that was when it went like big time. Like the first one was to try it out with the hunger thing. And yeah. then it just became, this is fun. Yeah. And that's how they get you. How long you know. does it take to get into smoking? I'm not. I'm not. I'm not going right. to do it because I've, I've, only, I've only ever smoked. Great channel video though. Would <laughs> be good. Right, right, two hundred <laughs> cigarettes. Um, no, I am. Um, I've smoked one cigarette when I yeah. for a sketch on Soccer AM. Where okay. I used to work there. Um, so I'm definitely going to sue Sky yeah, if, I ever, if, yeah. I, if I if I get ill. Um, and I, I didn't enjoy it. How long does it take to get into cigarettes? So, a real easy way to do it... Oh God, there's people going <laughs> to... Yeah, but we're not saying you should do it. We're right, warning yeah. people of the pitfalls. Don't do, this. Don't do this. There's a big thing on the bottom yeah. of the screen. Don't do this, please. Uh, if you do... No, but it's good to warn people that safe. they can... Yeah. That they might easily slip into being addicted. Okay, so... Uh, started at uni. Yeah. Um, so, a big life change. It's things around it. Like, the smoking itself. The first time you do it, you're going to get a nicky rush. Yeah. Nicotine rush. And you're gonna feel sick, disorientated. No, it's not awful, but yeah. it's not amazing. But being drunk at the time, that helps oh. significantly. Because uh, again, don't do this. Don't do it. Um, yeah, smoking and drinking at the same time. So being drunk. Did you start smoking after the smoking ban came in, or because? Oh well, yeah, well, after, after, that, well yeah, after that. Yeah. Because yeah. I always wondered if that would have made it less. I think. Less attractive. Do you know what I mean? If you if you if you if you have to go outside in the winter. Do you winter. know what? No, because I think so. When I was deep into it, it's the perfect getaway thing. Yeah. You're with a group of people, and you're like, oh man, I need to get out of here for like five minutes. I need a sick. Yeah. You go outside. You know, you find you're at a work, working at a bar, yeah. and smoking is a great combination because you go, I need a sick break. It's weird you that you just can't just go for one, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Like it's the only thing. Oh, that definitely. You can just yeah. go. Yeah. You can't go. I'm just going to go and play PlayStation yeah. for five minutes. <laughs> you know what I mean? It works. Can't yeah. do anything else. It's the only yeah, thing that you're allowed to just, yeah. to just go out and. No, very strange. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I think because when I got to a certain level at where I worked, it was just going out every, you know, half hour. Uh, yeah. Just sort of chain smoking. Uh, so yeah, don't do it. Um, yeah. It's, it's it fucks you up big time. Obviously, the big one. Obviously, uh, but even in way you know, just breathing. Yeah, it's it's a bit grim. But Have you noticed a difference since you quit? Uh, yes. Yeah, a lot less coughing. Um, How quickly after? Give it a month. 
Okay. Yeah. It's not like it doesn't just happen overnight, but it will happen eventually. Uh, but yeah, no, it's. Uh, I went to uh, the doctors recently, but they've given me the all clear, so. Everything's good. Amazing. <laughs> and did you just quit, as in just stop? Yeah, uh, so I quit. So it's just four months on yeah. there. I quit five months ago, but I did have some during that month. Okay. So it was. So I went from like 20 to like three a day. But then that, whatever date that was, I just went. I'm out. That's it, yeah. I'm well done. done. Thank you. What a hero. Who would have thought, yeah? Yeah, amazing. You should do some walking now that you can walk yeah. much easier. <laughs> Brilliant. Say That's that I'm going to trip and break my neck. <laughs> <laughs>
think it is. <laughs> so what, tell, me, tell me about your dad's rowing boat. Yes, uh, we went out fishing a few times, um, but this was like, this was late at night. So it was very dark, very scary. Oh, fuck. Wait, let's just do this again. Maybe that's... I... Whoa, whoa, no sun. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to die then. <laughs> it's been nice knowing you, Robbie. <laughs> If there was a kid drowning in the middle of the pond and we had to come out to save him, we would have made it to him. He'd be long dead. Though, He'd be long dead by now, though. Yeah. Sadly. Rest in peace. We're well, quite close to hitting a tree. Oh shit! I didn't see. Well, oh, we nice, have gone for nice, nice, look at that little manoeuvre. Really silky skills. I feel like you're, this is the final stages of the Oxford Cambridge boat race. <laughs> glory ahead of you. <laughs> Almost there, almost there. It's just there, like it's just there. Oh my He's god, are we doing it? Yes! He's looking over his shoulder. He's looking over his shoulder. Yeah. Hey, hey! Hey! That was challenging. Nice. Oh, well man. done, mate. Go on, Max. This is the last chance it could go wrong. Oh, no. <laughs> are you sure, yeah? Thank you so much. Whoa, fuck me! He made Jeez. it! He made, oh. made it to land. Hey! How'd you feel? I'm just so glad I've got my uh, carton of water. Brilliant. So out of breath. Let's stick to land now, yeah? Yeah, I don't want to do that ever again. Some view this, Max, isn't it? Yeah, you've got the trees, the grass, just nature. Do you like nature? No. I've got hay fever, so... Uh, it's it's constantly against me, you know. The thing that gives nature life is makes me sick. That's tragic, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Yeah. So if this was all concrete, I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be fussed. <laughs> You'd rather just walk around a big car park. <laughs> we could have done in a car park, mate. <laughs> yeah. Don't mind. I'm probably the only person that looks at like the deforestation of the Amazon and just because, goes, yeah, yeah, yeah that's that. all right. Yeah, <laughs> bring it on. Oh, that's a shame. Quite, yeah. actually quite annoying hay fever, I've done. Oh, it's, yeah. yeah, it's grim. It's... Do you have to look at like the, the pollen index and stuff? Or do you just see what happens? Yeah, I'd, I should probably be fussed about that sort of stuff, but I'm, a, I'm an easygoing, carefree guy. And it's fine, like the, the running eyes I can deal with, the snot I can, I can deal with. 24-7. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> every day, Easy. baby. Yeah. It's the back of the throat when it itches. Oh. Yeah, and, and so... Like you try and scratch it, but it's but like a dry cough type thing, or not? No. Sort of like you know, like you know, behind your tonsils, like that yeah. sort of the bit that curves. Yeah. Like that will just really itch, and I, you try scratching it, but it's sort of like underneath. Ugh. So you got to make like a like sort of. Okay. It's grim. Yeah. Yeah. Do it again. Like sort of growl at that point, so like the air sort of sort of. Uh, Rubs, you know, sort of uh, like with a cough. <coughs> yeah, you, to sort of scratch the back of your. Fr it's grim. Okay. I wouldn't wish it. Well, I would wish it on my worst enemy. <laughs> That's not the worst thing you can wish on someone. <laughs> no. I want Hitler to have hay fever. <laughs> <laughs> I do. To be fair, you know what? Yeah. He deserves it. Yeah, he's done some bad stuff. Well, awful Quite stuff. Quite a lot of bad stuff. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if I'd call Hitler my worst enemy though. Who's your worst enemy? I mean, Hitler's bad, obviously, but I wouldn't say he's my enemy. He's dead, obviously, since he's been born. Would you, who would you say is yours? I don't really have any enemies. I don't, I'm not interested in enemies. You know what I'd like? Yeah. A nemesis. A nemesis? Yeah, that'd be like a joker. So, well, someone like, someone like you could be having a good day, you'd be in a bar or something, you look across the bar and it's like, huh, it's my <laughs> nemesis. Or something. I don't know who. Yeah, that'd be fun. I don't know who, though. I, so, like, when you look at, like, the classics, yeah, you know, Joker, Batman, you know, uh, Spider-Man, Green Goblin. Is this person like actively trying to destroy you and everything you stand for? I don't know. Maybe. I think we just, I would just polar opposites or something, oh. or, or believe in different things. <laughs> okay. And we're like, oh. Yeah. Or we just see each other, or just, or something's happened. Cobby rocks. Yeah. He instead of walks. Well, I guess he wouldn't even do YouTube, would he? What would he I do? I don't know what he'd do. You'd hate TikTok. <laughs> Do little, dances. Do little dances, yeah. Do you watch TikTok? No, my girlfriend does. Uh, second time I've brought her up. <laughs> um, Breaks <on. laughs> Yeah, boy. Uh, oh God, she, I sort of constantly hear into the thick of it, and, you know, shit like that. Oh, I don't know what of, it is. 
when I, about like a year a year and a bit ago I watched a bit I got into TikTok or just watching it I did it made a few TikToks but I just couldn't yeah. last but um, you do get addicted to it it very quickly learns what you like yeah uh, I, I've I th- I'm way past the sort of I think the age range it was sort of pushed towards I think then I don't know because all I've seen of it are things that my girlfriend watches yeah so that's like stuff my uh, brother's TikTok famous he does English lessons he's got like 1.2 million that. yeah well I'll probably watch yeah. some of these that's yeah. insane 1.2 million yeah teaching wow. English teaching it to who anyone who wants anyone who wants <laughs> anyone that comes to him yeah. anyone who's interested nice will yeah. he teach me Via TikTok, you probably right, know, yeah. right. but it's like it's like English language stuff. So it's not like how to speak the language. It's more like the meaning of this, or, or like this is why yeah, okay. we say things like this, or whatever. Okay, yeah. So yeah. this is a phrase. This is why we use that phrase. Yeah, that sort of stuff. What do you, you maybe maybe you could do that as well? Can't be asked. <laughs> got to be honest. Max, I've got to be honest. What it's got to like be easier than this. What were you like at school? Me, cute. Yeah. Uh, I I sort of moved schools a lot up until year seven. How come? Parents were always moving. Okay. Not like within the same city, but right. just sort of renting and we I think yeah. I never really understood it as a kid, but now as a renter myself, yeah. fuck me. You, yeah. There are some weird, you know, people out there that sort of try and sort of rent houses out. Um, yeah. But, yeah, so I moved a lot, and because of that, this school would then be too far away. We lived in one place for, like, a month or two. Right. Which was a bore. Like, you move everything in and have to leave. But I was in that school for, like, three weeks. So What's that like? Being, I, I was fine with it. Cause kids are resilient, aren't they? Like, my kids have all just moved house because we moved from Kent to Norwich. Yeah. And moved schools. And they get... They yeah. settle in really quickly. Yeah, it's when you're a, I think when you're a kid and you... Especially in an educational setting, when you sort of lump together and it's like, you have to make friends. Yeah. You know, uh, I think I think that's that's good for, for kids. Like, you, you don't really get that as an adult. You get work, but when you're sort of stuck with your work, you make friends with people at work, it's good, but also... I used to work at a place and everyone was friends with each other. But that's all... There were some people that that's all they had. Yeah. So if anything happened at work and then they were sort of like, you know, this is miserable for the... <laughs> the sorry, yeah. I, I'm thinking it's some dark places. Uh, <laughs> I like it. Uh, I was uh, uh, As a kid, yeah, good. Yeah. Yeah. Hardworking? I, no. No. Did you like school? I don't think I especially... I think I liked it in primary school. I think my secondary school, I was like, oh, I'm not... I quite look forward to the holidays. I think I was the opposite. I... Because I was always in and out of primary schools. Yeah. Going to a place and finally staying there. Yeah. And then being able to make friends like properly. Um, like making stupid jokes and making people laugh and you know, all that stuff. It, that was fun. I enjoyed doing that. I was probably a knobhead. I think I was a knobhead at school. Were you? Yeah, not like a, not not like a bad boy, but. I don't think teacher would have gone out of I I looked at one of my uh, what are they called like report cards yeah. you get at the end of the year and it was like PE Max is a danger to himself and everyone else in the class <laughs> I don't know why I didn't do much I found I'm obviously older than you I found one of my report cards yeah. um, from school and it had like the results of like it had exams but the way it did the exams it didn't give you like a percentage score yeah. it'd be like a grade it ranked everyone from 1 to 120 <laughs> or anywhere in the school in order so going history you really? were you were 20th out of 120 or you were like 98th or something like that yeah, well, I can't imagine they do that now <laughs> you also wouldn't really know what that means because you could have just yeah the, the thickest shit yeah it's like an educational hunger games or something <laughs> but there was something as well like I was in well, yeah. I, I saw this and I was like eighth in the year or something in well, geography. I didn't know I knew about geography. Don't you? You've got a you've got a Mensa. You're in Mensa, right? I am you? in Mensa. Yeah, that's Thank incredible. You. Yeah, it's you... made me think less of Mensa. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How do you feel they would find out if they found out you were eighth? Well, I don't know because it's different. Well, geography, I think it's, though, isn't it? You know. Yeah, I think it's it's Mensa's very specific like a, yeah. type of in, 
inter- it's how quickly you can work things yeah. out. I think it's not like wisdom or emotional intelligence or yeah. any of these other things sort of thing. It's weird, but I remember when I was a kid being told that I had a high IQ. Yeah, and I remember getting taken out of fun lessons that I liked to go and do extra work yeah. in the school staff room. Oh, God. Yeah. So it's like me and like four other kids or something just sit there and do this. Oh. I mean, everyone else is like making planets out of paper mache and I've got to go and do this. Go, no, I don't like this <laughs> at all. Just giving all the teachers paperwork. Yeah, I don't know. Don't yeah. be fucked to do this, Robbie. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. So I don't know. I don't know. It, it was... I don't know That's what incredible. the purpose like, of it was. Has it opened doors for you that you never thought would be nope. open? Not really. Because then you get told that you're... I don't think it did me any good because then you get told, oh, you're really bright. Mm. And then you go to like secondary school where there's lots of people who are really yeah, bright. Yeah. And then you don't you, you don't, don't with, nurture it. Yeah, with my kids, I'm never saying you're intelligent, I'm always saying you've worked <laughs> you're really stupid. Yeah, I'm not gonna, you're, you're thick. <laughs> I'm immense. <laughs> I'm immense, look at you. No, I'm s i am always praise work over Yeah. I'm not saying oh you're really oh that's really clever of you. Yeah. Because that makes them think that's just something that's happened you, you sort of see that thing where people have been told they're great all their yeah. life and then when they aren't it's sort of depressing yeah and... I definitely had that when I was in secondary school yeah whereas now I'm sort of very much you've worked hard you must have worked really hard to do yeah. that or as you see someone a football guy he must have done so much training to get to that yeah. level sort of thing and, and sort of try and praise the route rather the, than the, the train. Yeah. yeah of course do yeah. you uh, would you give it all up to win the lottery you reckon? What, Mensa? Just, what? you know, you say, w- working up, would you would you want to win the lottery or would you rather earn the money? I'd like to win the lottery and still work. Yeah, okay. And do, well, I say, well, I mean, I'll probably do YouTube videos and all that. Like, like, More walks? People say, well, yeah. Buy I mean, people say, so we go, I wouldn't want to win the lottery. I, I'd really like, I mean, I don't enter the lottery, <laughs> but, <laughs> so it's unlikely I will. Yeah. But I think I'd, I think I'd be all right with being rich. Yeah? I think so. I don't think I'd be a knobhead. There's only one way to find out. Win the lottery. <laughs> you can, well, well, I'll get to work. <laughs> <laughs> what about you? Uh, I'd give it all up in an instant. Oh, God, just... What would you do if you won the lottery? Or just spend it on? Well, a lot of people say, what's the first thing you'd buy? And I think yeah. uh, Stephen, uh, his, his answer was buy a car. But realistically, I've got the money in my account. Get a takeaway. But like, yeah. get a really fancy one. You get the onion bhaji as well as oh, the curry. Oh, definitely, yeah, yeah. Maybe a little I'd samosa. Probably, I'd, I'd go for the meal for four. Oh, would you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Just do it in one go? Just do it in one go. I can now, I'm rich. You can, yeah. yeah you know, uh, what else would I do? Because <sighs> that guy won, what, 180 million? Did he? The other week. Disgusting. You know, it's, it's so annoying because it's yeah. like five numbers. It's right there, five numbers. You pick five numbers and here you go, you... You and your family and everyone you know's life, your life would have been changed. Yeah. So I probably would have thrown you a hundred quid. Would you? After this, yeah. yeah. I can't now, though. <laughs> no, no, no. no, no I've I got it in my head, it was coming. <laughs> it was coming. Do you think you'd use the money to, would you donate any to the tram museum? I've not seen it yet. I've not. For all I know, it could, it could be, it probably won't even need it. All right. The tram museum. So we're going to try and check it out as one final hurrah for this. What has been a quite glorious and eventful walk. I'm I'm surprised it's not rained. Yeah. It's uh, it's very grey. Um, but yeah, no, I think we've done well. There's two magpies over there. Never, we've never gone off land on a walk before. <laughs> so it's quite the achievement. The, let's next, go... uh, the next step is flying or underground. <laughs> okay, well let's go, and... Check go out in the between tram. that to tram. Yeah. All right, we'll go see the tram museum and then we'll go home. I think this is it. It's a bit creepy, isn't it? It's sort of. If this was like the middle of the night and you saw that sort of looming out of the uh, the forest, I, it must be. There's no other building around it. Shut if it is. Uh, tram oh no, over. no. Max, I think the tram dream is over. It's very sad when you look at these people volunteering and donating, and ultimately this is what it leads to. We failed, didn't we? We got greedy. We had a nice boat ride. We wanted more, <laughs> and we failed. We wanted more vehicle knowledge. Wow, well, twelve. Per- I just don't know. I assume the uh, assume coronavirus just wiped out this place as well. Sad indictment of modern tramming. <laughs> <laughs>
Yeah, exactly, yeah. Well, at least the tram, uh, the modern tram's working. You know, maybe it's time to leave the past in the past and put all this to bed. Right, Max, it's been a terrific day out in my book. Have you enjoyed yourself? I have. Uh, thanks for taking me out on the boat. How, how did you find that? It was stressful. It was stressful, back hurts, uh, legs hurt. I don't think I want to do it ever again. I can only apologise. I thought it was going to be more fun than it turned out to be. Do you know, it was an experience, you know, when I'm on my deathbed looking back, I can say. Which might be tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so yeah. much for um, coming for a walk with me. If people have enjoyed this, which I imagine they would have, because it's been yeah, excellent, yeah. Right, what can so. they do in order to uh, get more Max in their lives? Oh, God, don't. Don't do that. Um, God, more Max. Podcast. Yeah, Stephen, Stephen tries, tries podcast. podcast. There you go. Very good. It's well right. worth listening to. Happy hours better. Is it? Like and uh, comment on uh, this uh, this this video. Subscribe to Robbie Knox. Good, you're good at this, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Brilliant. Let's go walk down the tram line romantically. Maybe back uh, into Manchester. Maybe comment what your favourite tram is. Yeah, any tram related facts, we'd love to hear. <laughs> Cheers, guys. Bye. Bye.